Some news stories help us understand the world we live in. And some news stories are just stupid. For those, <laughs> we turn to Ronnie Chang. Trevor, you probably don't know this, but today is Earth Day. So to celebrate, I got you some Earth. Oh, oh whoa! <laughs> You're Ronnie, welcome, what the hell? Trevor. As we celebrate Earth, we're also trying to figure out how to save it. Take me, for instance. To help cool the planet, before I left my apartment today, I turned the air conditioning on. What? <laughs> no, no. Isn't that contributing to global warming? No, oh, stupid. I left the window open, of course. <laughs> but unfortunately for the Earth, not everyone's solutions are as practical as mine. How can humankind tackle global warming? There are some scientists proposing a technique that's similar to the Earth-wearing UV protection sunglasses, apparently, to block out the sun's harmful rays. Basically, what the proposal wants to do is it wants to send airplanes into the stratosphere, effectively spraying it with aerosols into the atmosphere, almost kind of like working like you're adding extra clouds. When you do that, you essentially are trying to block more of that sunlight. So your solution to save the planet is to spray more shit into the atmosphere. <laughs> Let me ask you, what's the point of saving Earth if the whole thing looks like New Jersey? <laughs> and also... Also, there's no way that will work. It's like trying to get a coffee stain out of your shirt by using blood, okay? Don't believe every life hack you read on the internet. We don't need to dim the sun. We already have two dim suns. They're called Eric and Don Jr. Hello! High five, Trevor! Come on! Come on! I'm not, I'm not gonna high five you. I'm not gonna high-five you. Oh, sorry, didn't know you were a Trump guy. Anyway, <laughs> there's a whole ocean of bad ideas out there. In fact, one of those bad ideas is an ocean. A Silicon Valley a firm wants to stop climate change by flooding the desert. Y Combinator unveiled uh, some radical ideas as one of four moonshot scenarios presented to get innovators thinking about climate change remedies. The company says by using 238 trillion gallons of ocean water, it could create millions of algae reservoirs that could combat carbon dioxide. Y Combinator expects the project to cost about $50 trillion. You're gonna move the ocean into the desert? That is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Unless they do it while Burning Man is happening. In which case, <laughs> go for it, please take a bath, you dirty hippies. <laughs> First of all, you can't move an ocean, okay? Have you guys ever tried to move a one-bedroom apartment? <laughs> you can't buy three boxes of Papa John's and ask your friends to move the Atlantic, okay? <laughs> but at least these guys are trying to find a solution to save the Earth, okay? Other people are just waving a white flag. Right now, world leaders are exploring a concept for a floating city to guard against flood tsunamis and Category 5 hurricanes. The floating city is made up of six hexagonal islands that would be built with sustainable materials. Each island would hold about 300 people, with an entire city being comprised of 10,000 people. Leaders see the project as a viable solution against rising sea levels, climate change, and housing shortages. They will also be built so that they can be towed to a safer location if needed. Wow, living on floating cities. Clearly, we've given up. Okay, we couldn't, we couldn't cut back on plastic straws, so we have to go on a carnival cruise that never ends. <laughs> That's a nightmare for everyone, except elderly couples trying to have sex with strangers, of course. <laughs> I can't believe we're abandoning land so fast. We're mammals. We're supposed to live on land. No mammals live in the ocean. Uh, dolphins and whales? Yeah, two great examples of fishes. Thank you. <laughs> you okay, you know what, Ronnie? Like, at least these people are trying, all right? If you're so smart, what's your plan to save the Earth? Okay, Trevor, I'm glad you asked. I have a two-step plan here, all right? <laughs> Step one, everyone gives me one million dollars. <laughs> okay, and then what's step two? Step two is I proceed to have a good life or the rest of you drift away on your floating cities. Happy Earth Day, everyone! <laughs> High five me, Trump boy! Let's go, come Ronnie on! Chang, everyone.